How's it going folks? Eric Nye here and happy Zer Day. Zer has finally left the tower. He is now at the reef. He can be found as, at his usual spot in the reef right over here. So let's see what he's got this week. So he's got the legacy engram for body armor. He's got the Taikonaut, young, young Ahamkara's spine, the ram, and the red death. Uh, Let's take a look at the Taikonaut real quick. So what this does, all rocket launchers gain tracking, radar remains visible while zooming with a heavy weapon, and heavy ammo drops more often. These are really nice. Um, the tracking definitely helps, and the radar helps in uh, PvP. Not so much the heavy ammo drops, um, but this is going to be great in both PvE and PvP. Uh, I see a lot of people using this. I like to use it every now and then. Um, definitely pick it up if you don't have it. I think the roll here is all right. Um, so yeah, if you if you don't like it, go ahead and grab some glass needles and mess around with that. But let's move on to the young Ahamkara's spine. Uh, so I was listening to Crucible Radio recently, and um, they were talking about how awesome this is for for zone control and that cannot be more true and i don't really necessarily mean like just using it in control pvp maps but just controlling the area zone control zone control you know what I, you know what i mean so basically you get two trip mine grenades um that's great just don't run into them um this is not a bad roll either um get an auto rifle and fusion rifle reload <clears throat> increased grenade throw distance which is going to be really nice on this uh bonus grenade energy on melee hits and you got increased intellect and discipline it's nice that uh, i would have, i would like to see like a max discipline roll on this but you know you can't have it all oh maybe it is maybe that is what it is cool well get it get this okay so the ram this is one of the best warlock exotics <clears throat> to ever exist ever uh so increased armor all void walker melees trigger lifesteal on hit this thing is great in pvp um i even take it with me in pvp or sorry pve and i don't really care about the fact that you know it's better in pve pvp oh my god i can't speak it's early but uh i like that it's got increased strength here um i don't know why but i i often find a hard i have a hard time finding things with nice strength rolls uh we've also got inverse shadow increased super energy from killing minions in the darkness we got second thoughts infusion which i really like um definitely pick this up if you don't have one all right and last but not least we got red death um this is just an excellent weapon uh the rate of fire isn't as as far as pyre, pulse rifles go i prefer my rate of fire a little a little faster um but it's it's main perk each kill heals you and speeds up reloads is just it's too too good um unflinching uh you've got field choke and accurized ballistics um aiming this weapon is incredibly fast high caliber rounds single point sling this is just an excellent weapon um if you don't know much about red death uh pick this up now it you're gonna you're gonna love it um then we've got ornaments for the zala supercell and the telesto and your usual sparrow upgrades heavy ammo synthesis uh three of coins glass needles motes of light so yeah, that's what Zer's got this week. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, uh, what you might be excited about, what you wish was better. And uh, I will see you again soon, folks. Take it easy.